still can't believe the third set ended like this. Up Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Haiku chapter 325. So I need to clear something up apparently. Um, apparently there's a misconception in the comment section that um, I didn't like the end of the chapter last week. No, that's not the case. I loved the end of the chapter. The writing was beautiful. No, that wasn't my problem. My problem with the chapter last week was with how the third set ended. It pissed me the fuck off, especially compared to how the first and the second set ended. I was expecting something more epic, not like the ball slipping from Kemma's fingertips. That pissed me the fuck off. I wanted, like, some cool, like, um epic air battle between uh, Kagayama, Hinata, and Kemma. Like, something like that. That would have been so fucking cool. Especially for, like, the way um, the writing was for Kemma afterwards. That would have been made it even more epic. Oh, but, oh, I can't have shit my way. But, yeah, I just wanted to clear that shit up. But, anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Oh, we got a beautiful color cover. Um, aiming for the top, a uh, center color for the um, overwhelming response to the third day of the spring inner high. They gaze towards um, a timeless destiny, and uh, this chapter is titled The Promise of the Trash Heap. Oh, I got a feeling uh, there might be tears shed in this chapter. Thank you for getting me into volleyball. <laughs> the other as as if the shrimpy little demon crow really learned how to pull off those open spikes this match though i won't lose chapter 
is that there's barely any words. We don't need words. I, I really wish it, <laughs> I wanted to see, like, the, I'm kind of sad that there's no dialogue between uh, Tanaka and Yamamoto and Kuro and uh, Tsukushima because, oh my god, can you imagine, like, the conversation that would be going on between Tanaka and Yamamoto and Kuro and Tsukushima? Oh my god! Like, I can just, I kind of wish there was. I really wish there was a conversation going on between Kuro and Tsukushima and, um, and Tanaka and Yamamoto because I just would love to see the roast. And also, I, I kind of wish there was a a shot of like Tsukushima and and Lev because uh because I would love to see a roast between Tsukushima. I'd love to see Tsukushima just roast the shit out of Lev. Oh my god, poor Donnie, why? Oh, oh look at it was. Oh my god, oh my god, this chapter is gonna really make me cry. Move out. We'll leave our reflections on the game for later. First and foremost. That, that was a game very well played. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Try not to cry for my boys. Nakoma High School is bringing her high national volleyball ch um, championships round three eliminated. I still can't believe that this match is over. I still still can't believe it! I feel like there should be more! I, I know it's weird, but I feel like there should be more! I'm so sad! Emma, let's do- Oh, fuck 
fucking excited because it is motherfucking Pecan time, yo! Woo! Okay, so let me talk about this chapter. And then we'll talk about what I can't wait for, which is Pecan time! Um, so, this was a good conclusion for this arc. Um, for the, um, I, uh, the only thing that is just bothering me is I wish there would, I, even though, like, the, the lack of dialogue and just the imagery was beautiful, and I understand what Furidati was going for, I kind of wish there was dialogue, and, like, for at least some of them, especially, um, uh, Kuro and Tsukushima, and, um, uh, Yamamoto and Tanaka, but especially Tsukushima and, um, and, uh, and Kuro. That, I, that needed dialogue for Adada. You could not, that really needed dialogue because of the meaning, um, behind their relationship. I, it just really is bothering me that there is no dialogue between, for, um, between, uh, Kuro and Tsukushima. And, um... I kind of, and I kind of want, yeah, the Tanaka and Yamamoto one, yeah, I just would have liked, I would have liked the dialogue. I kind of really wanted the dialogue, uh, another one I really would have liked the dialogue for is, uh, between, um, Yaku and, um, and, uh, oh my god, and Nishinoya, because the reason why I kind of would have liked the dialogue between Nishinoya and Yaku is because, um, Furidate gave us, like, so much content about the meaning of being a Libro and, um, like, so much emphasis on Yaku and, um, Nishinoya. And it kind of would have been nice to have, like, a, a, just a little bit of dialogue. But to me, um, like, just a little, uh, just a little bit of, like, a roast between, a last bit, a last, a teeny bit of roast between, uh, Tsukushima and Kuro would, would have been nice. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed the chapter, uh, I enjoyed the farewells. I, I love that Kageyama, I love the Kageyama, Kemba, and Hidara content. That shit was funny. Oh my god, that shit was great. Um, and I, I love how much Kageyama has really grown as a character, and the reason why I love that Kageyama was the one that stole Hinata's lines. Or that said, he, or not, well not, well stole, yeah, but why I love Kageyama said Hinata's lines was because it shows how much Kageyama has um, gained a respect for Kenma in this match and it and um and I really like that. And he sees and he, not just a respect, he sees Kenma as an equal, which is really really nice. And it uh, and Kenma's response too also has shows sees how um Kenma sees uh, Kageyama to boot. So I really Really, uh, I really enjoy that. I did enjoy that a lot. And, I, and um, uh, but now, let's talk about the, that thing that we're going to be seeing next week, which is Book Odo Tom. It is Book Odo Tom, motherfucker. I'm so excited for Book Odo. Oh, man. Because, oh, I, I, I can't wait to see what Book Odo does next week. Oh man, I think I think we're going up against. Speaking of Bakodo, I think that's that's who we're going up against next. I think we're going up against. Oh my God, if we're going up against Bakodo next, oh man, there better be some for Dante, you something that was missing from from uh, the Nakoma Karasano match, especially in the third set in particular. Even though there were some, there wasn't enough of it. We need some roast battles going on between Pakoto and Tsukushima. I need it. Um, I'm very curious what you guys think, but we, uh, but I, I don't know about you guys, but I want some roast battling going on between Pakoto and Tsukushima. That's what I want. Um, at least. I need, I just really want it. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys agree with me that, um, the thing that would have made this chapter a little bit more special is uh, the dialogue going on between um, Kuro, and, at least between Kuro and Tsukushima, and maybe and um, <clears throat> Yaku and uh, Nishinoya, and um, what was the other one? And um, Yamamoto and um, and Tanaka. Or are you fine <clears throat> without uh, the dialogue? But personally, personally for me, I. I 
Kuro Tsukushima dialogue is really needed. Or do you think the reason why um, uh, Furudani didn't have that dialogue there is for us as the reader to interpret it? I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, also, uh, are you guys excited for Pakoda like I am? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, uh, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's um, in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.